Have you ever had to deal with depression after a breakup? Um, and if so, to what extent? How bad was it? Uh, yeah, every time, to be honest. I think um, the first time I was properly heartbroken was when I was like 19. And then when I got over it, I was like, well, that's that done. I won't act like that again. But it doesn't get any easier every time you get dumped. It's horrible. Yeah, once, yeah, a long time ago. But yeah, I think as uh, everybody almost. Um, yeah, it was really uh, depressing because after, you know, even a couple of um, years that you've been together with a person, you cannot be, you know, separate. You feel alone a little bit, and uh, maybe that you think that you're gonna find anyone else, like you know, him or her. Or yes, the feelings of disappointment, regret, being let down by somebody, not anticipating how it would affect me as badly as it did, and and subsequently my children. How did you personally overcome it? time, <laughs> just uh, taking care of myself. My one way was I was sort of moping around the house for like two weeks being really, really sad and I was like, you know what, I've always wanted to go to Scandinavia, I've never been. So I booked myself a flight to Scandinavia and travelled around there for a month. I was like at home, I didn't want to go out with anyone, I didn't want to be around family and then like just having my mum and everyone support me was just the best thing ever, like support is just the number one thing. I started um, dancing. I started a dance, doing a dance called By Danza, and it's called the Dance of Life. And it's there's a lot of contact with other people, and it's lovely music. It's very therapeutic, and you go very deep. And it just took me to a much more joyful place than I was in, and brought help to bring me out of it. Why do you think dealing with heartbreak is so painful and difficult? Um. Uh because it's such a significant investment uh, to like give your whole self to somebody and then have it not work out. It's a very vulnerable place to be. Everything just shatters all in one, one, one second. Things just happen. You're going through all these emotions, like crying is an emotion, laughing is an emotion, and imagine not being able to do all of that because you're hurting, because you haven't got that one person. It's so hard. It's so easy when you're with someone to kind of map out the rest of your life with them. And I think that's actually a natural thing to do. I think if you're not thinking about the future with someone, you probably shouldn't be with them. So I'm sort of like, okay, you know, maybe I want to have a house, maybe I want to get kids, maybe I want to go on holiday. So you kind of plan your future with that person. And then when they just say no, none of that's going to happen. At the beginning, you set out with this picture of being with this person forever and your expectations of what that was going to mean and that's all lost and broken and I think it's um, hard enough for you to take that on board but it's much harder then for you to look after your children and, and I think that's probably the hardest bit, what's the hardest bit for me was just not myself but my children and how it affected them. How would you deal with depression after a breakup? What's the best way to move forward? If somebody out there is going through it, what's, what would your number one advice be? If someone out there is going through a depression after a breakup, I would say is try and go out a lot with your mates. Just try and see things for the for the better. Like, it, you're not always going to hurt. Pain isn't a thing that lasts forever. Pain doesn't stay forever. So as long as you just have a lot of support around you, try and do things that get your mind off it. If that's working, if that's going to the gym, just things that make you happy, just try and do as much of it as possible. And just always remember, being happy is what matters in this life. Um, to look after themselves, to be kind to themselves, to find tools to help them through it. Um, I found meditation really helpful, exercise, a good support group, prayer really helped me. My one golden piece of advice would be to just forget about that person and you just can't really hang out with them anymore. Um, just go on a date, even if it's someone that you don't really like, you know, go on Tinder just so that you can realise that actually there are other people because it's easy when you, if you're with someone that you think maybe they're the one or whatever, it's easy to just think that that's it, you've had your chance at love. But, You've not, you've got plenty more time. So yeah, go on a date and just stop talking to your ex.